Right. Well, getting back to some back-to-school coverage here, you know, parents, you want to keep your eyes out for what apps your kids may use on their devices. A detective with the Shawnee Police Department warns that while your kids may not intend to do anything bad, they may unknowingly put themselves in a bad situation. So we asked him, what are some of the popular apps out there that are dangerous that parents may not know about? And his response for us was an app called Kick. How many of y'all have Kick? Literally, almost the entire room raises their hands. But then, when we get to those, the parents of those children sitting in a room, and we ask the parents, "How many of your children have Kick installed on their phone?" Two or three hands go up. Kick, which is spelled K-I-K, is a free messaging app that anyone can download. Also, it doesn't block strangers from contacting others, so they can find your children on the app, send them messages, sometimes inappropriate ones. There have been naked photos found on this app. It is rated 17 and up, but it's extremely popular with children and teenagers. Now, some of the other apps to keep an eye on from this detective, Snapchat, it allows you to send photos. You can only see for a certain amount of time. Uh, for a certain amount of seconds before they disappear. Uh, very common apps like Twitter and Instagram can also be dangerous, especially if the privacy settings are not set correctly. So what can you, the parent, do to make sure your kids are protected? Well, Detective Sterling says, first off, you want to set a password on your iTunes or your Google Play account. Keep in mind, it's not automatic on Google Play on those Android devices, but you can go under Settings. There is an option to set up a PIN uh, that keeps your kids from downloading anything without your knowledge. Also, you want to know your kids' passwords and know how many accounts they have. Detective Sterling also says kids may try to hide apps that they use by deleting the icon or the entire app if you know you're going to check. Uh, so on Google Play, you want to go to My Apps, look under All. You'll see all of the apps that have been downloaded, even if the icons have been deleted from the screen. Let's talk about what you can do on Apple devices now. What you're seeing back here is what's on my iPad. So say your child wants to delete PicStitch here, okay? I'm going to click on it actually delete it out, what you can do is you go into your app store and you can see under purchased, look at all of the devices that have been downloaded. Can we take this full, guys, so we can show them what PicStitch looks like? It's on the upper right-hand corner. See, now it's got that cloud symbol there. Anytime an app is downloaded, even if it's deleted from the device, that cloud symbol will show up. So Detective Sterling says that is a way you can know what your children have downloaded, even if they try to hide it from you. We'll be right back here on 41 Action News Midday.